Hi, I'm Jason Anderson. I'm the Product Line Director for JBoss Application Products. And today, we're going to be talking about Enterprise Portal Platform. It's a little bit of a different type of uh, portal product in the sense that it's primarily used for external uh, self-service applications. A lot of people think portals, they think of an intranet application, but really we've seen a lot of usage outside of the firewall with the portal. And, and, and here's why. Um, when you start to work with customers and try to engage customers or citizens or even uh, your sales force, your you know, brokers or dealers in a different type of way, you start to realize that you have a lot of things to share with them. Um, you have content, which could be web content or video, podcasts, anything like that really. You have the applications you want to share. They could be e-commerce applications, transactional applications, um, you know, uh, manufacturing line applications. The various services uh, uh, that come along with a SOA environment, things like tapping into an enterprise service bus or to a back-end rules systems like we provide here at JBoss with our integration products. And then you have things now that are becoming very popular, such as feeds. And feeds are, you know, coming from various cloud-based applications or social networking sites like Twitter or Facebook coming into uh, your business that you might want to share. And then, of course, you also have the profiles of the users themselves. Who's using what? What have they bought from you? All that information might be something you need to help deliver a tailored, personalized experience. The way we do that is to bring it all into the portal platform and aggregate all these things in. What makes the portal platform a bit unique is that it's very multi-purpose. We can share and build different types of applications and usages with a single platform build. So unlike some other systems, um, like a content management system, which are very focused on site delivery, the portal's nice for being able to deliver dashboards, consoles, and sites. So who would use these? Well, let's just start over here with brokers or dealers or salespeople, whatever you want to call them in your industry. Those people are people that you want to give experience to that lets them be more productive. That means letting them know who are the prospects in their territory, what new sales leads may have been generated, who are their existing customers that they may want to market to to sell them other goods, you know, cross-sell and upsell types of opportunities or different types of marketing uh, tactics you may want to perform in a territory. In that case, them having a dashboard on the portal is a very popular choice. Of course, maybe you don't have an externalized sales force um, and you may be just dealing with customers directly. That's actually a very strong trend in a lot of businesses nowadays. Direct to consumer, uh, the first step in dealing with those folks is generally through a website. So you can actually build a very rich content-driven website with the portal platform that enables a user to get all these services in a personalized way. For example, let's say this customer lives in Canada. You do not necessarily want to share with them product information that they have in the United States. Right? If a customer spends a certain amount of money with you, you may want to um, provide them a special offer or a special discount. Lastly, not all customers will use the web. So that person may pick up the phone and actually call a customer service rep. And the customer service rep is sitting there and answering your calls or answering emails. And what they'll need in order to perform that transaction is a rich console. And a rich console takes advantages of all of these services, but may be able to provide even more than what you would get out of a site or a dashboard. Because this is the person who might be the final step in making sure that you're solving the customer problem. So this particular application may have um, access to internal only applications that you wouldn't want to share outside the firewall. It may have access to um, different types of information so the CSR can escalate uh, the issue properly within your organization to get the customer's problem solved. At the end of the day, what the portal platform is really all about is making the customer experience more sticky so your customers are more loyal to you. They're uh, potentially buying more products and services from you and ultimately driving your top line business result. Thanks a lot and thanks for tuning in.